Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up Pixie's Grafana data source really quickly. So we first need to add the Pixie plugin. I'm going to install this on Grafana Cloud, but it's also easy to deploy this to a local Grafana instance. Okay, so let's make sure this actually installed. I'm just going to refresh this page. Okay, great. So now we can add the data source. And you're going to add new data source. Search for Pixie. And then we need to configure Pixie. So I already have Pixie um, installed on my cluster, and I'll link to the directions for that if you don't have that. So here you can see the OLM, PL, and PLC, and PX operator namespaces, that's Pixie. So we wanna get the API key that's needed by this uh, plugin. So we'll do PX API key create, and this will create an API key for us that we need to grab. Okay, so that's the Pixie API key. To get the cluster ID, we're gonna do PX get viziers. Um, I'm going to uh, do a slightly longer method of doing this because I have a lot of viziers set up on my account. So I'm just gonna grep for my viziers and then the ones that are healthy. But all you should need to run is just PX get viziers. So um, under the ID column, that's the cluster ID. So we'll just grab that string, pop it in there. And if you're self-hosting your Pixie Cloud, you'll need to um, also set up this last box here. Okay, so let's create a new dashboard to just show this off really quickly. So I've added a new panel and then we're gonna pick the Pixie Grafana data source plugin as our data source. And I'm gonna copy in a script here that's basically going to give us a bar chart of all of the HTTP errors per service. So I've selected the bar chart visualization, and this is a little messy, so let's change the orientation to be horizontal. Okay, great, now we can see our services. Um, Pixie does namespace and slash service. Oh, and I've just noticed one other error. Um, we wanna use the Grafana plugin um, time from macro so that we can change the time picker and have that give us the correct time window. Okay, let's try this out, make sure this works. Yes, okay, we're getting data dependent on the time picker. Let's make the errors red and the total requests blue. Okay, great, so now we can see error and total request count for each service. Let's rename this panel to HTTP errors per service. And there you have it. For more examples of using Pixie's Grafana data source plugin, be sure to check out our other videos.